If you're the type who is obsessed with shot count and likes playing the maximum shots per fill-up top trumps game, or you just like something unique and different, this week's review is going to be for you. Let me introduce you to the king. <laughs> And welcome to AAR on Air. Time to bow your heads for the king. This week it's the AGN Technologies, or AGT, Uragan King. And my first thought is, <laughs> wow, just wow. The last time I saw tanks like this, it was in a David Attenborough Sea Life film. This is so bizarre, it's awesome. Let's take a closer look, shall we? Stats first. Well, there's really only one statistic that people will be eager to hear. Two times 530 cc tanks. That's a whopping 1,060 cc's of air. And it's a max pressure of 300 bar at that. You know what? Short of strapping a compressor to it, I can't think how you could possibly get more air on an air gun. That third intrusion, by the way, is the barrel. Well, it's mostly the shroud and end silencer to the 570mm CZ barrel. You know, in the past I've been told so many times it's not called a silencer because it doesn't silence the noise. It only suppresses it. <laughs> Think again. This is about as close to a silent in sub 12 foot pound version of a gun as I've come across lately. In spite of the oversized front bit, it is still only 830 millimetres long. This is the polymer version and is all black, but there is a walnut version for those who prefer the more natural material. In either format though, the front twin bottles are beautiful carbon fibre and is probably the reason why this wacky rifle still only weighs 4.1 kilograms unscoped. It is available in 177, 2225 and the big hitting 0 .30 calibres. So naturally it's available in both sub 12 fully UK legal pounds as well as higher power levels or FAC. Shot count from this will vary so much due to the different calibres and different power level options. The figures would look like a string theory equation. So let's just go with 1060cc times 300 bar equals a lot. That should do it. This comes with Picatinny rails on the top for quick scope changes and another one on the underside which I would expect to be used for a bipod to help balance out that oversized front end. That said, it is surprisingly well balanced and easy enough to keep steady and has a nice broad hold for your hand. The filler port is just behind the shroud and has a dust plug to keep things nice and clean. This can be filled with the supplied quick fill set as per the norm with AGTs. The manometer or gauge is near this on the left hand side and is a black on white clear and precise items. The biathlon style side lever cocking arm is on the left hand side and is the usual super smooth sprung loaded release arm with lock open to make easier loading of your magazine. This Uragan King is also fully ambidextrous because this lever can be swapped over from the left to the right if preferred. The cheek piece rail is made of polymer and is nicely rounded and warm to the feel even on cold days. The trigger is fully adjustable and I've found the broad blade to be comfortable and a delight to use. The polymer stock on this all black version is ergonomic with quite a broad grip and a nice finger to trigger position. 
It uses the same magazines as the other AGTs and loading is really very simple. Part turn the internal wheel anti-clockwise, drop in head first your first pellet, turn slightly and drop in, then repeat until the magazine is full. Then pull back on the side lever cocking arm until it locks into position, slot in your magazine. You'll find, as with all AGTs, it is beautifully slick and nicely fitted within the stock. Never gets in the way of left or right-handed shooters. The safety is in front of the trigger and is a simple push forward for fire and pull back for safe. This will completely lock the trigger. So what about power levels? Well, time to drop this over the chronograph. On this occasion, I thought I would run 15.89 grain pellets through this 2.2 version. It saw 578 feet per second, which is 11.79 foot pounds or 15.99 joules, which is as close to 12 foot pounds as anyone would really need to be. Time to get this out on the range and see what it can do. And if it's manageable with those twin torpedoes stuck out the front. With my now go-to Continental scope fitted on the top of this, I love this scope, uh, let's put it out at that 40 metres. Here goes. <laughs> You're again king. Well, come on, it'd be rude not to, wouldn't it? Let's give this one a go, shall we? What a beast. I've dropped a bipod on the bottom because one of the questions where people will ask is how do you rest it? Well, on a bipod, why not? That's quiet. That is ridiculously quiet. It's super smooth in operation. It's very comfortable with this uh, polymer cheek rest. And it's bizarre with those twin bottles on the front. And yet, it's so easy to shoot. And of course, it's a Eurogan, so it's accurate even with a breeze. What a laugh. What an absolute hoot. Yeah, fabulous. Normally, I would prefer to test a gun in the target section in 177 calibre, because I often seem to get slightly better results. But this was great, somewhat strange to use to start with, but as soon as you get over that initial strangeness and manage to stop grinning and thinking about it, the accuracy, the accuracy mm -hmm, starts to shine through. And at different distances too. It isn't fussy about you wanting to shoot over greater distances, in fact, it loves it. This is a real hoot, and I can hear people saying though, why would you make such a thing? To which my answer would be, because they can. <laughs> and it's things like this that make the whole world a far more interesting place. 
I was and am a fan of the Uragan, and this King version takes it to another level. For those who want to go there, I love it. It's a real head turner. This is one heck of a conversation piece down at your local shooting range, and I can't see there being many people down there with one. So, it's got individuality. Guaranteed, it seems. The price. Well, it depends what stock you want with this. This is the polymer black version and comes in at around £1,699 UK. And at the time of going to press, as it were, the Warlock stock version was coming in a little more at £1,849 UK. Again, I would love a laminate version that would complement those carbon fibre bottles on the front. I just love them. As always, this comes with two magazines, the filler system with probe that regulates the speed of the air going into the gun when you fill it from your diver's tank, a few spare o-rings, as is the norm, but no bag. Probably because this isn't going to fit in a standard AGT bag. Would I take this hunting? Probably not. It's a bit too special for that. But if you did, I really can't see you needing to take any backup air supply at all. I've really had fun with this one. It is a real laugh and yet a serious bullpup too. Hopefully you've enjoyed this review too. If you have, please give us the old thumbs up, subscribe, click the alarm bell, share, comment, join in the chat forums and visit the AAR on their website. Naturally, this is available from Vector Air who were kind enough to get hold of this for me to review. Again, they've pulled out all the stops to help. And of course, a big thank you to you guys for watching. As always, stay safe and shoot safe. And I'll see you next week. <laughs> Bye for now. A few stats first. Well, there is really only one statistic that people will be eager to hear. Two times 530 cc tanks. That's a whopping 1,060 cc's of air. It's easy for me to share. I can't even say that.